In this video, we are going to learn tabulation method, which is also known as quen mccleskey method. This is introduced because the K-maps increases the complexity while we are increasing the number of variables during the simplification of Boolean functions. Tabulation method advantage is to ensure and produce a simplified standard form, which could be in SOP that is sum of products or product of some expression. It is also suitable for machine computation. We can easily write a program for implementing this tabulation method. It is first formulated by Quen and later improved by McCluskey. Hence it is also called as Quen McCluskey method. Basically tabulation method consists of two parts. That is first one is determination of prime implicants. Second one is selection of prime implicants, which is also referred as determination of essential prime implicants. Now let us see an example and in this example first step how to determine prime implicants. The, in the given example, uh, mean terms are given in the form of sigma. The function is expressed in the form of sigma. So first step is to group these given mean terms according to the number of ones in its binary representation. So if you consider one, it is a four variable function. So if we consider one, we will represent it as 0, 0, 0, 1. So it comes into the first group. Four also will have single one. So first group. Six have two ones, 0, double one, 0. So it goes into the second group. Seven has three ones, third group. Eight has one single one, so first group. 9, 2 ones, so second group, 10, 2 ones, second group, 11, 3 ones, so third group, 15, 4 ones, so fourth group. Like this, we will divide all the given min terms into different groups based upon the number of ones in their corresponding binary representation. Next step is to compare the numbers from two different consecutive groups. So we will compare these two groups and these two groups and these two groups. So the rule for comparison is the result of subtraction of two numbers from different groups should be able to express in powers of two and also it should be positive. So in this case, if you consider these two groups, six minus one is five. So five is positive, but we cannot express in powers of two. So we cannot compare these two numbers. Now when we consider one and nine, we can say that they can be compared because the result is 8 and also it is positive number as well as we can express 8 in powers of 2. So we compare 1 and 9 and we write in the second step 1 comma 9, 8 is the difference between 1 and 9. Similarly, we will follow and complete the all the comparisons. Next 4 and 6. So 4, 6, 2 is the difference. 8, 9, difference is 1. 8, 10, difference is 2. So this completes the comparison between first two groups. So we give a separation here. Then we'll compare second and third groups. 6, 7. Next, we can see 9 and 7 difference is uh, minus 2 because it is negative. We will not consider 6, 11, 5. We can will not consider because it is like 5 and we cannot express in powers of 2. Then we can see 10, 9 and 11 difference is 2. Then 10, 11 difference is 1. If you see the comparison between second and third groups is done. So we will give a separation. Then 7, 11. Sorry, 7, 15 difference is 8. 11, 15 difference is 4. So this shows that these are the possible pairs that can be made. And now we have to verify whether any quads can be made or not. So in this case, we, are, we need to compare these two groups and these two groups actually. So how we can uh, go with the comparison? First of all, the condition is this difference 8 should be there in this group actually. Because if difference 8 is not there, any pair with difference 8 is not there, then no, we cannot compare this 1, 9 with any pair in the second group. Now let us consider 4, 6. Difference is 2. So if you see here 9, 11 is difference is 2. 
but if you see 9 minus 4 the difference is 5 so which cannot be expressed in powers of 2 that is the reason why we cannot compare 4 comma 6 and 9 comma 11 then coming to 8 comma 9 difference is 1 and 6 comma 7 if if you see here the difference is negative so we cannot compare them and coming to comparison 8 comma 9 and 10 comma 11 we can compare them so let us consider 8 comma 9 and 10 comma 11 a quad can be made one observation need to be made here that when you are making a quad with 8 9 10 11 with difference 1 comma 2 wherein one is the first difference and second is the difference what we get now so the next like same min terms will be coming with a difference as 2 comma 1 that is first difference will be 2 and a new difference will be 1 we have to get another quad like this otherwise it indicates that we have done some mistake in the, while we are doing this particular step actually so if you consider 8 comma 10 and 9 comma 11 we'll get another quad like this and if you consider <coughs> second and third groups we'll not we don't have any comparisons actually because there are no matching differences here so if you observe now these two quads both are same so we'll consider only one by removing the duplicate term so here we say that all unticked ones are called prime implicants so we have determined the prime implicants and the first step is done now going for the second step that is selection of prime implicants or we can also say as determination of essential prime implicants so in order to determine essential prime implicants we have to form a matrix with the rows as the prime implicants which we have determined from the first step and these are the min terms given in our question actually so when 1 comma 9 are there in prime implicant we'll take 1 and 9 here like this and similarly 4 and 6 6 7 7 15 11 15 8 9 10 11 now after filling the table like this we have next step is we have to observe which column is having a single cross mark actually so under that particular column we'll give a tick mark like this so here we can see that the columns with min terms 1 4 8 and 10 are having single cross so we'll give a tick mark for these particular min terms which indicates that we are including these min terms in our answer so which means actually at the end we should have a tick mark for all the min terms then this tick mark is obtained because of this min, uh, prime implicant so we have to indicate tick mark which indicates that this prime implicant is selected as essential prime implicant similarly this tick mark is obtained because of this prime implicant 4 comma 6 so we are selecting that also and if you consider this one and this one we are including 8 9 10 11 now when we say that 1 comma 9 is included in a answer or we can say that it is selected as an essential prime implicant but only 1 is checked 9 is not checked so we check 9 also if you see 4 comma 6 4 is checked 6 is not checked so we'll check 6 also similarly in the case of 8 9 10 11 8 9 10 are checked 11 is not checked so we'll check now <coughs> now at the end if you observe we are left out with 7 and 15 unchecked so which indicates that 7 and 15 are not yet included in our answer so we have to select one of the prime implicants which are not yet selected to be included as essential prime implicant and this should be minimum number of prime implicants so i will select 7 15 as an essential prime implicant which indicates that 7 15 are also included in our answer so the out of six prime implicants it indicates that four are selected as essential prime implicant now how to write our answer in terms of sop this is the way how we write it so essential prime implicants we are listing here we, the expression we are writing in terms of a b c d and these are the weights 8421 because it is a 4 variable it is 8421 if it is a 5 variable we will get 168421 like this now you can consider any of these terms 1 of 1 or 9 i am considering 1 here 
and difference is 8. So I am striking off a digit and a 8th uh, power 8 actually. So the remaining thing is B is 0, C is 0, D is 1 which could be expressed as B bar, C bar, D. Similarly, if you consider here 4 comma 6, I am considering 4 and uh, difference is 2. So I am striking the digit under 2. The remaining terms we will write as an expression that is A bar, B, D bar. Similarly, 7 and 15, 8, 9, 10, 11. If you write, the final answer will be F equal to A, B bar plus B, C, D plus A bar, B, D bar plus B bar, C bar, D. This is the way how we simplify the Boolean function using tabulation method. And this process shows how to get the SOP that is sum of products form. Thank you.